learned about this team these last five games? Uh, you know, we're playing well. I think uh, we've been working really hard, and uh, you know, it's just, it's just the way we've been working since the beginning of the season, since the summertime. You know, we uh, we had you know we had some tough, we lost some tough uh, games, but you know we we kept working. So right now we. We are winning, you know, we won't, we won't find a role, but we just been doing the same thing. But you guys have been winning the close games and beating some big teams. We've been winning close games. Yeah, we've been, you know, if it's, we've been winning the close games, but, you know, we just, we, we be, like, we learned from the past. So now we, uh, I think we, you know, we had some young guys, but we've been able to finish games. So. You talk about this battle coming up against Pittsburgh. How big this game is? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's huge. You know, it's a must win for us. And uh, I think we just need to, need to keep doing what we're doing, and then we'll be fine. Do you think you guys have shown enough that, hey, you know, NCAA bid time, make sure we make sure we come into the party? I, I don't pay attention. I don't know. I, I really don't, don't pay attention to that. I just I try to uh, just, you know, stay focused and take, you know, one game at a time. And I don't really pay attention to, like, I don't. I don't know about that, so I don't. I don't really know what, you know, what we have to do to. You just have to win. But guys, so, got to be talking about it though. I mean, you guys are all because everybody wants to be in the. I day. mean, yeah, you want to be. You want to go to the tournament, but we don't really. Me, I don't really pay attention to like what other people say. I just try to, I you know try to do what I can control and what I can do is just play hard and what do you, help our team. What do you see that's different in Pitt for Alabama being their leader? On the have hands feel. They had uh, Blair, and uh, they have like they had two NBA players. I think that's different. And uh, you know he he was a he was a, he was a, their PG for four years, so he had a he had he had more experience than these guys have. But they still a good team, and uh, they're gonna come ready to play just like we are. Early in the conference schedule, you guys lost a lot of close ones. Now you're on this five-game win streak. I mean. What's the confidence like now compared to you know maybe where you guys were early on? Is it the same, or are you guys feeling better? When you win games, you're gonna feel better, obviously. But <laughs> I mean, it's we've been doing the same thing. We just you know when we lost those games again, again uh, we just we weren't able to finish. But now you know as the season has progressed, we you know we got much better. You know guys that have learned from you know their mistakes, and we have adjusted well. So. That's that's how that's why I think we have been, been able to uh, to win close games now. Was there a point in the season where you guys felt like that clicked in, where you felt like you learned to, to close out those games? Uh, I don't know if there was a point. We just it's tough to tell, you know. Just I feel like we just uh, you know we've been better at the end of the game. So talk about go-to guys. So sorry, hey, we're talking about how big he is <coughs> for you guys this season. He's been huge, you know. He's been. Uh, not only uh, you know, on and off the court, he's you know he's a great guy. You know he's my roommate. He's like he's like my brother, but you know he's just been great. You know he's teaching everybody, like, new guys, and you know he's been a good leader. You know he's he's been accountable for everything that you know he has done, and I think he, you know he's gonna he's gonna finish the season well too. What kind of roommate is he? Keep things clean around. Yeah. yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. I don't like to talk about my my roommates. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's a good, cool, he's a clean guy. Okay. All games, man, they're all big, but I think we're going to take a little bit more focus in on this one, you know. Uh, being in there in ranked team, you know, we got, we got locked in practice, um, and film, and just you knowing that person that way. Is this a different team now in the past five games? You put the game on the than it was earlier in the season? Are you guys brought as a team? Yeah, I think at the beginning of the season, we were just trying to find ourselves individually in order to figure out how the team's going to go and how the season's going to go. But um, as the season's progressed, you know, I, I think that we bonded together as a team on and off the court, which has helped a lot of guys. And the guys just coming in practice, getting, trying to get better as a, you know, as a player, as the coaches get better too. And so I think that's helped us, you know, mature as a team. It could be the same thing you guys don't talk about the tournament. Is that true? Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't know nothing about the tournament. No, no, no. You, you never <laughs> think about the tournament? I don't know what, what our record is right now, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, it's 16 and 8, right? Uh, Thanks. <laughs> so uh, we just take it one game at a time. You know? So that's, that's got to be one of your goals, though, going to start the season is to get to the dance, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, dance. that's, the, that's the dream, but that's everybody. But, you know, you can't think about it right now. You know, you can only play one game.
game at a time. That's what we've been doing. Why is that so important? Does break the season into seasons? I mean, Terry has talked about her team. She breaks up into four seasons. There are seven games in each season. Do you guys have anything like that? So, no, we, we just take them one day at a time. You know, practice, you, you, only, you only focus on one day because we do so much things in just as one day as basketball players that we really don't have much much time to think about anything else. Why is that important? Yeah, you know, yeah. you know cause if you focus, you can't focus on the future because you don't know what's, what's in the help you. You can't focus on the past because it's already, already been. So you can't, you can only focus on what's going to happen today. Is that what helped you through that rough start? Yeah, that's what I believe has helped us through this rough start. You know, uh, these five games, we've just been playing like a team that we should have been playing at the beginning, but I think that as a team that we were just so focused on getting, getting the triple wins and playing for Zara Cooper and Mo Mona they just said last year that we wanted to win the game too. It's hard to do though. What do you what do you do to kind of keep yourself if it comes on ESPN and, and you see people talking about the tournament, what do you do? You shut it off, you change the station? Yeah, we usually change the station because I'm all Yeah. I, I, you know you know really much nothing. You know, just want to focus on what we can do to get there and how successful we can be. Are you paying attention to the winter games though? Winter games? No. My channel's not. <laughs> no, you watch, you watch a nice game. Right? Watching, if you're not watching ESPN, what are you turning into on? Well, I, I do watch a couple games. Like, uh, I have a couple of friends that play for a certain different team and stuff. So that's interesting for me to watch them play. So I'm going to all kids together. You know, uh, friends such as John and guys come. Guys, two friends play tonight, uh, Kentucky and Mississippi State, so my two friends have to watch play. Kentucky probably won't do it. The what? <laughs> <laughs>